I have not used my Zygu X5105 in over three years. I did an activation when I was still living in Michigan in 2020, right at the beginning of COVID, and I never used it again. It sat on my workbench for a couple years, just looking down on me. And then I sent it off to my friend Charlie over at Red Summit RF to review. He got it on the air on CW, but when his wife went on the air to get it on single sideband, it didn't work. He texted me, he says, this isn't working on single sideband. I said, what the heck? It just sat there, I don't know. I, he didn't break it, I know that. But I know a guy in Michigan that can fix things, so I sent it to him almost a year ago. So I haven't even had this radio in my possession for almost a year. I just got it back last Monday and I am geeked to get it on the air. We are reunited and it feels oh so, so good. So we're at Huntsville State Park today. We're gonna get on the air with five measly watts and I'm gonna reunite with this awesome, awesome radio that I love so much. My name is Mike K. I'm Marty. This is Ham Radio Tube. And the cool thing about this, every this the entire station is inside this little Carhartt lunch bag. And check this out. You don't need much. Here is the radio itself, proudly displayed in its Crown Royal bag. Beautiful. And I don't always leave it on. <laughs> we got the microphone. I brought a little three amp hour BioNO battery with me. Power cable. And this is the piece of dollars this falls. This is the K6 ARK uh, 9 to 1 that we're going to use today because the G90, or the X5105 rather, has such an incredible tuner. And the great thing about this, I don't need any coax. I just plug this directly in here and get on the air. Life is great. So let's do that. In my great and infinite wisdom, I left the house without the mast that I wanted to use. Fortunately, I keep my DX Commander Expedition in the car, so uh, I can use this as the mast. Usually I would just use either the regular Expedition mast or the Pac-10 mast, but hey, we made it happen. So I don't have anything on here to hold this antenna, but it's got some string on it. So I'm just gonna tie it on a few times, see what becomes of it. Yeah. That should work. And I'm just gonna raise it up and lean it into this tree. Or that tree, actually. Very easy. The wire was a little long to hang it up in this tree, so I just moved it. And the cool thing about this antenna, everything is attached to this BNC. So this is the radiating element. This here is the counterpoise. And obviously here is your toroid. And then you just plug it into your radio Turn it on, hit the tune button, and we're good to go. It is a frequency in use, Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta is a frequency in use. Go ahead and spot ourselves on 20 meters. CQ Park's on the air, CQ Park's on the air, CQ, CQ, CQ from Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta at Huntsville State Park. Calling CQ Park's on the air, CQ Park's on the air from Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta calling CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Look at that. Kilo 7 Sierra Echo November. How are you, Neil? I am always good, Mike. Thank you for asking. You're 5'9 Arizona. Am I really 5'9? No, but you're, you know, you're, you're maybe a 5'7. Wow, that's awesome. I'm just running uh, 5 watts on a 9 to 1 uh, N fed. Okay, I looked at the meter. You're actually a 6 on the meter. Wow. All right. Hey, I'll take it, man. You're 5'9 uh, as usual. Well, 5'9, sir. Okay, that's good. <laughs> November 6th, Golf Romeo, got you 5 by 7 in Texas. Thank you, you're 5-4 here in New Mexico. Copy the 5-4 New Mexico, thanks for hunting, 73. Kilo Oscar 4, November Kilo X-ray. There you are, Kilo Oscar 4, November Kilo X-ray, got you 5 by 7 into Kilo 3019. 5-9 in part Kilo 0, 1 4 one KFL. Roger the 0141. Thanks for the park to park. Have fun out there. Whiskey Zero, Charlie Golf Charlie. Whiskey Zero, Charlie Golf Charlie. I uh, got you about a 5x7 here in Texas. Hey, thanks for the 5-9 in Tennessee. I do appreciate it. 73 QRZ, Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta. Parks on the air. 
Kilo 7 Foxtrot Hotel Charlie. Got you a little weak. Let's give you a 4x4 four four here in a Texas. Sorry, Mike, you put it out. Kilo 7 Foxtrot Hotel Charlie, your 4x4, four four, 44. Oh, come on. Copy 34, copy 34. Thanks for the contact. 73. That was Washington. Washington. QRZ, Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta Parks on the air. Kilo Echo 2, Echo Tango, good 5-9 signal here in a Texas. Yes, have a good Mike, 5-9, West Carolina, good to talk to you, huh? Activation, have a great. Hey, thanks so much, just running 5 watts today, 5 watts. Ah, uh, you're doing great, 5-5, <laughs> I'm going to be so hungry, if I had more, I'd give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, well, hey, thanks for the contact, good to get you in the log, 73. Okay. Go ahead, park to park. Roger, Alpha Delta Zero, Yankee Lima. Let's give you a 5-5 five, five both ways into Kilo 3019. Roger, Roger, 6492 and 1766. That's awesome. Hey, thanks for the two for man. I appreciate it. Kilo Charlie 4, Foxtrot Romeo Alpha, got you 5 by 7 in Huntsville, Texas. Roger, Roger, you about a 5-4, five, 5-4, four, five, four, Kentucky, Kilo Yankee, over. Copy the 5-4, Kentucky, thanks for hunting, I appreciate it, 73. Alpha, Alpha 4, Tango X-Ray. Alpha, Alpha 4, Tango X-Ray, got you 5 by 5 into Huntsville State Park. Roger, Roger, you're 5 and 3, 53, Fort Myers, Florida. Rod of the 53 into Fort Myers, Florida. Thanks for hunting. I appreciate it. 73. And that is a park activated. Ha! That's freaking great. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. That took all of, I started, the first contact was at 1850. Now it's 1857. Seven minutes, QRP, to get a park activated. You gotta love that. Kilo Echo Zero, Yankee Delta Bravo. Let's give you a 5x5 five five in the Huntsville, Texas. Copy the 2-2 two two in Iowa. Thanks, I'm just running five watts. I appreciate the contact. And that activation right there is the sole reason when asked just last Monday's Mailbag Monday titled HF Ham Radio for Preppers, when I was asked what should my second ham radio be with the preparedness mindset, with CW digital modes, I went right to QRP radios like this. Tiny, compact, internal battery, internal antenna tuner, small antenna, very capable. We got this park activated in seven minutes. I ended up making 11 contacts. So call it like from the first time I called CQ to the, to the 11th contact, 10 minutes, tops few minutes to set up, okay? 15 minutes tops, you're on the air with this kind of thing. I got from all the way out from North Carolina, all the way to Washington State, Iowa, Tennessee, all over the place with just this tiny little thing. If I wanted to do digital, I can. If I wanted to do CW, well, I don't know CW, but I could try. This is what you need. Some guys on that video commented I'd take an 891 or I'd get a 710 or something. Guys, those are huge radios. Look at this. This is the whole freaking kit here, okay? 710 is bigger than this, and 891 is darn near as big as this, but then you need a bigger battery. You need, uh, this antenna won't handle 100 watts, to get like a Pac-10, a 9 to 1 or something. Then you need an external tuner. Uh, maybe the 710 could handle it, but you know, that's, that's the point. Small, compact, bugging out. You got other things to carry, like comms is just part of it. You need clothes and food and water and, uh, you know, protective pew-pew kind of things. You don't want to be carrying all that stuff, do you? I don't know. You tell me.